Welcome back everyone to another Polygon Matic video. Today we are going to be going over the news and takeaways from Polygon ZK Day. Now I'm not going to be able to cover all of what I want to in today's video, so I will most likely be doing multiple videos on this event. And of course towards the end of today's video I will also cover the current price action of the Matic token. So if you do enjoy staying up to date with everything Polygon and crypto related, make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out. Consider following me on Twitter where I post daily information information around the Polygon ecosystem at NARB Trading. Gently tap on that like button and let's get right into it. So a very big announcement was made by Polygon today as they have acquired ZK Rollup startup Mir Protocol for 400 million. This is a pretty massive acquisition and this new piece of scaling technology will be called Polygon Zero and as you can see here adding another one to the list. A few months back Polygon announced a 1 billion dollar fund dedicated to zero knowledge and they have since introduced Hermes, Nightfall, Maiden and now the newest ZK member Polygon Zero. Now again, I will be making a separate video covering all of those other presentations as well, but I do want to of course focus today on Polygon Zero. So I think the easiest way to cover this is by going over this short tweet thread from the Polygon Twitter. It's official, Polygon welcomes Mir Protocol, a groundbreaking ZK startup and a $400 million deal. Mir's amazing team developed the world's fastest ZK scaling tech. We are joining hands to utilize it and build Polygon Zero, a highly scalable, Ethereum compatible ZK rollup. So right off the bat, the world's fastest ZK scaling tech really catches your eye. And it seems like Polygon really wanted to bring this fourth ZK solution in to kind of complete or become a full-on ZK powerhouse like they've been saying. I think it's certainly fair to say at this point that Polygon is leading the zero knowledge space. And they clearly understand how powerful and important this technology is for scaling Ethereum. Moving on, we recently announced our strategic focus and $1 billion fund for ZK-based solutions. Following the announcements of Hermes, Nightfall, and Polygon Maiden, we are continuing our quest to become the ZK powerhouse with our work on Polygon Zero. Polygon Zero is a highly scalable Ethereum-compatible ZK rollup. Solutions like this can be the holy grail of Ethereum scaling, but they do not yet exist. One missing piece has been efficient recursive proofs as recursion enables much better performance, this ends now. So we've talked many times on how ZK rollups do seem to be sort of the end goal of Ethereum scaling along with sharding in the future, but as of now the technology just isn't quite where we want it to be yet. You have to understand that this is still relatively new, but as they say here, one missing piece has been efficient recursive proofs as recursion enables much better performance, this ends now. So acquiring Mir protocol and adding Polygon Zero to the never ending list of scaling solutions could lead to being the holy grail of scaling solutions for Ethereum. This again just brings me back to how important it is to think long term here, think about what the future holds, think about when these rollups are live on the mainnet, it will be a complete game game changer. Also keep in mind that the Polygon team has hinted that they do plan to somehow connect all of this together with the Matic token, which will of course make Matic holders very happy. But continuing on now, we are announcing Plonky 2, a recursive proof system that is incredibly fast, it takes just 0.17 seconds to generate proofs on a laptop, by far the fastest implementation available today. It's Ethereum friendly, can support Ethereum transactions and is practical to verify on Ethereum L1. Additionally, unique features of Plonky 2 open the door of horizontal scaling, where the throughput increases with every node that gets added to the network. We believe this engineering breakthrough will be a huge value add and will open new frontiers of Ethereum scaling. So speed is certainly a main point here and it only becomes faster with each node being added to the network. And the whole Mir team is joining Polygon to build Polygon Zero. The team is one of the most talented groups working on ZK with impressive backgrounds and skill sets from engineering at Google to PhD research in pure math and degrees from top crypto research institutions. So a great team behind them, which is of course very important. They have been working on recursive ZK proofs for almost two years now. And then the final piece of info here, the development of Polygon Zero is already well underway. 
way. A part of this solution is a transpiler that will make Solidity contracts compatible with 0VM. This design is conceptually similar to ZK Sync 2.0, but with significant optimizations and high proving efficiency. So folks, another incredible acquisition by Polygon, and here is the Polygon thesis for ultimate Ethereum scaling. All of these different layer twos for the execution layer, and then of course, Ethereum in the middle as the settlement layer. This is a good look at what it means to be multi-chain on Ethereum. There are options to fit whatever a project or developer needs, and I think all of these names on your screen right now are going to have a very big 2022. I keep talking about 2022 being the year of layer twos, and this is why. So many exciting things coming within the next year or so, and Ethereum is very clearly scaling. Now, as mentioned before, these are still mostly in development, but we have all of these people and teams who are way smarter than me working to create quality UX ZK rollups. And it really seems like this is coming much sooner than you may think. So amazing to see this, adding another to the list, Polygon is truly the ZK powerhouse, but of course this is only just the beginning and the best is still yet to come. So really wanted to cover this announcement today, especially for those of you who may have missed it. And this is just the first part of the live stream that I wanted to go over for today's video, and I will have more to come. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into the Matic price and chart. So the Matic price is now at $2.12 as the crypto market is in the red once again. We talked about in yesterday's video how Bitcoin needed to hold up or stay relatively bullish for any altcoins to hold up. And today we're seeing Bitcoin falling and of course we're not going to see Matic pushing up while Bitcoin is coming down. So just taking a quick look at the overall market here on CoinMarketCap, lots and lots of red across the board. So we truly need BTC to bounce back here. It does still have quite a lot of support here so I don't think it's time to panic or anything like that. And when we take a look at the Matic chart, you can see this dip in today's candle, but Matic is still in great shape. Really just testing this previous high at around $2.10. And I will say when the majority of the market starts to become bearish on Bitcoin, that is often when it surprises everyone and turns around. So at this point, again, where Matic goes next does depend a lot on Bitcoin's strength. Matic does have a lot of support below it right now, which is great, still clearly trending to the upside. And if we take a look at the Ethereum chart, ETH also has a strong support at that 4,000 level. So now I do want to go over some of the indicators from Matic also here. And the first one is the relative strength index. So here on the RSI, it is starting to near overbought territory. It does still have plenty of room to go higher as you can see with previous price action, but this is also why complete parabolic moves aren't necessarily a good thing and it's much more healthy to have this slow grind up. In markets, the faster and more something pumps, the worse the dump can be that follows. So the RSI is still looking relatively good. Moving over to the volume. So the volume now is looking much better. This has been pretty low over the last few months, but seeing this pick up is certainly a good sign. Obviously there has been a lot of attention around Polygon lately, so this really doesn't surprise me to see this spike, but this is the kind of volume you need to continue to break those resistance levels. So overall, as we talked about yesterday, I did think that there was a chance that there were be a short-term sell-off, and Bitcoin's weakness definitely hasn't helped. But I am still, of course, very bullish on Matic. When you zoom out, the chart still looks great. We're continuing to work our way up, and for now, the thing to keep your eye on is the Bitcoin chart. But that, folks, is going to be it for today's video. I thank you all very much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed so you never miss out. Leave a like, it really helps me out. I will see you all next time.